Recent findings in dementia research indicates that misfolding of the tau brain protein is linked to progression of the disease. Pharmaceutical company Taurex has been researching the protein for more than 30 years and is now giving patients the opportunity to participate in clinical trials to help develop a treatment. Sangeeta Kandola has more. Clinical drug trials are imperative in the fight to find new solutions and interventions to terrible diseases such as Alzheimer's disease. People volunteer to test the treatments, people like Rachel. Well, I just began to forget people's names, family names or friends down the road, and it gradually got worse. 75-year-old Rachel Talbot was diagnosed with the early stages of Alzheimer's disease three years ago, news which left her unsure for her future. As treatment began, Rachel realised that available medication was limited. After hearing about clinical drugs trials for people living with Alzheimer's disease, she wanted to contribute to the trials and says, above all, it's given her hope. I suppose I feel comfort because I feel people are doing something and trying. I just hope in some way it stops me getting worse rather than mm. achieving a miracle cure, you know. It's been pretty painless, I think, though, hasn't it? Oh, I mean, absolutely. In, in the sense that there's been no ill effects or side issues. You get an incredibly good input from the psychologists, from the doctors, and there are MRI scans, and it's a very, very competently organised. It's not an easy process. People committed to a clinical drug trial are in for the long haul, as it can take many years. Companies like TowerX, an Alzheimer's disease-focused biopharmaceutical firm, have been working for decades on the next generation of treatments which target tau tangles. These tangles were first discovered by Dr. Alzheimer in 1906, although it took until the 1980s to understand their composition. Well, the clinical trials are really critical to take science from the lab bench to a point where we can impact meaningfully on people's lives. This is a team business, you know. The patients are the bedrock of everything that we do. It is for them. It is with them that all of this work is conducted. And do you know which day of the week it is today? Tuesday. OK. Susan Fennick has been part of the Alzheimer's clinical trial for several years and continues to benefit from access to the experimental treatment. Well, I just, uh, just felt more settled, didn't I? After, mm. you know, after a little while, I just really sort of calmed and just accepted things. And I just really seem to cope easily. Her progress is monitored by Dr. Ema McSweeney, who oversees medical trials at her clinic in London. It provides somebody the opportunity to get early access to in usually a new generation medication, which has been specifically designed to improve the level of treatment for a given condition. Dr. Ema says they also reach out to help carers and partners of those on a trial who are often left feeling isolated when a loved one becomes ill. They learn techniques as to how to manage living with somebody who has progressive cognitive impairment, really helps the individual with the cognitive impairment to just perform better or to again reduce stress. And the other thing it gives us is it's perceived control. It says, right, we're not just waiting for God, we're doing something, aren't we? We're being proactive and it's something we can do, so why not? New treatments for slowing down the disease still have some way to go, with at least one more trial named Lucidity now underway. TowerX, the company behind it, are encouraging people to come forward, especially those in the early stages of the Alzheimer's disease. To really see firsthand how this disease cuts into people's lives and cuts into family lives. Um, I hope that at least some of that suffering will be alleviated. Trials like lucidity give hope for future generations.